I'm gonna show you how you can fix any Intel crashes and instability issues by disabling the Intel boost algorithm that requests super aggressive voltages that degrades your CPU and slightly adjusting the voltage to help your degraded CPU stop crashing. That's plaguing 13th and 14th gen Intel CPUs. So let me show you how that is done. You go to your BIOS. Now, depending on which motherboard manufacturer, it will look slightly different. But for the Asus, what I'm looking for is the ability to choose to sync all cores and in the other section here i look for at what multiplier i want to set my frequency at so to make sure you're not losing any performance what you want to do is look at your spu look at your model and choose the multiplier based on what the all core frequency will be without the boost overclock in this case for my setup it will be 5.5 gigahertz but if you're running up to the 1400ks it is 5.9 the frequency you would choose and by choosing this frequency and having all core settings set that means you are automatically disabling the cpu from boosting to those boost overclocks now we have eliminated the problem that causes aggressive voltage requests by eliminating those two cores from requesting excessive voltage to achieve those boost frequencies so your cpu CPU should not degrade any further, but since your CPU has most likely already been degraded, well, if you still crashes due to the fact that your CPU has gotten weak and gotten worse, now we have to solve that problem as well. And the way we do that is by choosing a offset voltage in a positive mode sign. You'll find this BIOS setting by going to actual VRM core voltages, choose adaptive voltage, that gives you the option to set the offset voltage. The offset sign should be positive and your offset voltage should be tested at 0.0. 0.01 volt increments. Then what you do is you run your stress test until it goes from errors or you increase the offset voltage after each stress test until the stress test becomes stable. Now this will become your new stable voltage. And because you have disabled the boost algorithm, you no longer will hit those extremely high transient voltages and it will stop your CPU from degrading further. So in this video, we have done two things. Disabled the culprit, which is the boost algorithm. But number two, we've also increased the voltage to offset the impact of the degradation. Your system may be running a bit hotter, but at least your programs won't be crashing. Now that your system is stable, I still recommend that you go and RMA your CPU to get a new Intel CPU. And when you get that CPU, just disable boost, lock all your cores. With a fresh, non-degraded CPU, this will give you a chance also to underclock your CPU as well. So in this case, instead of having a positive offset, you can have a negative offset and you do the same strategy test you go minus 0.01 and you test the stress test and reduce it by 0.01 increments until your stress test becomes unstable now you have undervolted it so it consumes less heat and you will have a longer longevity of your cpu finally for those who have good cooling capacity you can just overclock your cpu and still try to achieve lower voltage than default settings but that's a separate video i remembered that a lot of people said that overclock is dead but the reality is if you don't go into your BIOS and set your manual frequency and your manual voltage well then your CPU is dead so long live overclocking